Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini Mighty and Grimode here today for part 68 and round 4 of the season. We're here in Monaco then where we have won many times in the past. Three in a row here in Monaco. We're looking to make it four. That's only if we have a good qualifying. This is the grid for the Grand Prix. We are on pole alongside Lewis Hamilton. He's won two of the last three races. Then it's George Russell and our teammate Carlos Sainz, Ocon and Oscar Piastri, Taylor Pacher and Lando Norris and his Ferrari. Then it's Leclerc and Bottas running out the top 10 before Fittipaldi and Gasly, Joe and race winner Liam Lawson, it's Halga and Yuki Sonoda, Lance Stroll and Logan Sargent, Alex Albon and De Vries and on the final row of the grid is Kevin Magnussen and Max Verstappen who has taken a penalty. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the Grand Prix, we're going to be starting on the softs going to the mediums, the usual strategy as we start from pole, our very first pole of the season, our best starting position of this season as you can see we went purple purple and purple once again looking to make this our first win of the season it is actually our worst start to the season since the very first season here we go then for the monaco grand prix and we are racing in the principality lewis Hamilton has got a bad start it's George Russell's got a good one. So Sainz, Ocon trying to go through the middle of George Russell and Carlos Sainz. He's got George Russell. George had a good start. He's down at the back now. It's now Ocon tried to go around the outside of our teammate Carlos Sainz. He was desperate in need for a good result. Hasn't scored yet this season. He was lucky in last time out in Australia and unlucky in Imola as well. Can he get on the podium, get some good points today as we have the best camera angle of the season, watching everyone flood through the lines happen. Skipping on to lap 14 now and it just turned into your classic Monaco. We were really being put under pressure from Lewis Hamilton, looking to make it free on the bounce and we just dealt with it. Unlike a couple of seasons ago where we cracked under pressure from George Russell, we were just deal dealing with it this time. He just couldn't find a way past, he was getting closer and closer, we had very wide elbows, just soaked up the pressure, we're both on the soft so there's no tyre advantage, so the undercut could be quite crucial for Mercedes, as at the end of lap 17 we are both in to make our one and only stop of the day, if everything goes to plan. Lewis Hamilton is in and out in the background and we will be doing the same, on to the mediums can we beat him out though Lewis Hamilton just we just beat him out now as we come out and back onto the track in the background there's Enzo Fittipaldi have we beat him out yes we have but Lewis Hamilton hasn't well, there's a car now between us and Lewis Hamilton and Fittipaldi is on the hard tyres he's going to be going longer it's all going wrong for Mercedes Hamilton has to desperately find a way past the Brazilian if he wants to stay on the back of us because we are flying away by half a lap later he needs to find a way by that that Alfa Romeo is going to be going deeper into the race his fresh medium should get him an advantage but this is Monaco and that's easier said than done but for us it went the other way because we have caught the back of Gasly who is also going longer. We've absolutely flown away from Fittipaldi and Lewis Hamilton. Now we're trying to find a way past Gasly as quickly as possible. It's, it took us a couple of laps but we're going to catch him napping. No, we're too far back to go down the inside at Mirabeau. We are all over the back. We're pushing him round the lone's hairpin. We need to find a way past quick before we start getting catched back up by Fittipaldi and Lewis Hamilton because this could be our break in in the race as now we do our classical Monaco setup and now we're gonna go down the inside into the back Gasly's hit the wall he weren't giving up but most importantly we're past the Alpine and now we can get on with our race as now Lewis Hamilton still cannot find a way past 
um, Enzo Fittipaldi has actually been caught now by our teammate Carlos Sainz. He was really, he really got back from the Mercedes and now he's been brought back into play. But this is just helping us out as Gasly boxes at the end of the lap. Fittipaldi still going strong though in P2, allowing us to get further and further up the road. And as we come on to the end of lap 21, finally Lewis Hamilton is unleashed to challenge back and try and catch us back up. But from the pressure in the first stint, we can relax a bit now, knowing that we have a 10 second gap over Lewis Hamilton behind 10.8 seconds and now we can just manage the pace we don't have to worry about him breathing down our neck and like the first thing we can just start to not ease off because Lewis Hamilton did start to capture us the gap now down to 8 seconds as we started to lap cars as we lap their nick to freeze in the hard hearts just aren't at it again this season a bit like Williams they've both come backwards even further backwards as everyone is more progressing this is it though lap 34 this is John Bernier he's, he's locked up he's run wide he's trying to do Tokyo Drift down the barrier skating down the barrier and he's blocked the track it's a car park at the hairpin and that's brought out the safety car wiping out a seven and a half second gap the two uh, Romeo's involved in it Joe's ghosted and now Fittipaldi's just had no steering angle and gone straight into the barrier Joe's now pointing the right way again it's drama in the dying stages of the Grand Prix Valtteri Bottas has retired under the safety car as well and now Nick De Vries is going to drop back a stone as he tries to get ever out everyone's way when the safety car it does come back in. Lap 37, we're going to have two racing laps and the game's glitched, the game's glitched. Nick De Vries has gone from being a lap down to being in P3 okay, the safety on the track. He's P3 because the game has decided to put everyone apart from me and Lewis Hamilton behind us a lap down. So we just got to keep beyond Lewis Hamilton now. Nick De Vries is going to pull over and out of the way of Lewis Hamilton because he is a lap down and that's going to catch Carlos Sainz napping as he goes round the outside to deny the hearts of the podium from a couple of laps ago he was in P22 he was stone dead last miles down the road and now he finds himself in P4 because of a glitch but we pulled away from Lewis Hamilton once again we come to the end of the final sector on the final lap of the Grand Prix it's going to be another win in Monaco it's now four wins in Monaco we win the Monaco Grand Prix They've done it then. They've won here in Monaco with an emphatic performance and a victory they can be proud of for years to come. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today.
Well, what a dramatic end to the Monaco Grand Prix. We win for a fourth time, four years in a row now, but from the very first season. Lewis Hamilton still getting a P2. That's three podiums in a row for him now. Two wins and a second place. Carlos Sainz gets his first points for us of the season and a first double podium for a very, very long time in this career mode as well. But Nick De Vries, Haas, after a season pointless, now have 12 points to their name on realistically technicality he's a lap down the game is glitched under the safety car and handed him p3 which then turned into p4 just being a lap down everyone you can see here apart from me and hamilton are all a lap down after the safety car don't know what's happened there but Haas don't care they've got 12 points kevin magnuson finishing down in p21 last of the finishers and Valtteri bottas unfortunately didn't see him retire but he retired and uh, the safety car for the second time he did that back in mexico in terms of the drivers championship now lewis hamilton leads we've jumped oscar piastri oscar piastri going down two places we are now at 15 points off lewis hamilton going for his eighth world title this is the strongest he's looked in a very long time in this career mode it's gonna take a lot to beat him he's very consistent in the early stages carlos Sainz has moved up into p10 with those 15 points four drivers still yet to score and fittipaldi sergeant magnuson and alex album in terms of the constructors then mercedes continue to lead we're up into p2 in the standings we are 40 points off the mercedes Haas with those points move up into p8 above red bull and it's just williams who are still yet to score so that's been the monaco grand prix we've got our first win of the season which is our longest drought at the start of the season without a win since the very first season where we didn't win a race because the car was terrible we go though to canada next where we've won many times in the past as well i'll see you in canada goodbye